picture pages, picture pages, lots of fun with picture pages, lots of fun with crayons and with pencils. You can play with picture pages, fill your day with picture pages, till Bill Cosby does another picture page with you. Thanks, Bill. That was Bill Cosby. What? I'm not Bill Cosby. I'm Peter P. Uh, Pickle Pepper the third. Here's Bill Cosby over here. He has another picture page. Imagine trying to tell me that I'm Bill Cosby. Come on, Bill. Now watch. Picture pages, picture pages. Time to get your picture pages. Time to get your crayons and your pencils. Picture pages, picture pages. Open up your picture pages. Time to watch Bill Cosby do a picture page with you. There you are, and here I am, and I want you to take a look at this tent. This is just like the tent we put up in Aggie Parnell's backyard, see? We didn't go way out in the woods or anything like that. We just went to Aggie's backyard, threw an old sheet over a ladder, put some rocks in the corners to hold the sheet down steady, and we had a serious tent, and sometimes we spent the night in there. And that was real fun until the night it rained, and Aggie said, Dag, man, we're getting soaked to our skin in this triangle tent. And I said, Dag, Aggie, don't you know the difference between a rectangle shape and a triangle shape? This is a rectangle shape. And he said, triangle, man. And I said, rectangle, man. And we stayed there in the pouring rain arguing about the difference between a rectangle and a triangle. And we both caught colds and had to stay in bed. So to keep you from catching the cold in a wet tent, we're going to learn the difference between a rectangle shape and a triangle shape. Here, this is the triangle shape. This is the rectangle shape. And we're going to start it on picture page L3. We'll start with the one marked with a star. So here we are. It's a tent. Now, Eggy, a tent. And we'll find out once for all about our argument. So we look down here, and we see the triangle shape, and we see the rectangle shape. Now, this is the shape that I was talking about, you see. So we'll go up here, and we can see that it is, in fact, if this is a rectangle, which it is, Oh, and this is the triangle. Oh, I'm afraid my friend Eggy was correct. After all these years, I've owed him an apology for some 40 years. I apologize, Eggy, if you're still alive. Number two, we'll move on to this shape. The book, shaped like a rectangle. Well, it wasn't too bad. At least I got a book. Hey, and a book you use in a tent, because you like to read while you're in a tent. The tent is triangle shaped. The book is rectangular. So I was close. Now, number three. You have the rectangle shape here or the triangle shape. Look at it. Here's the triangle. Here's the rectangle. And, of course, it is a rectangle. Now we go to number four, and it's a present. It's box shaped like, look at the sides, look at this four sides, you see. So that's the rectangle. Now we come over here to number five, and this is a uh, top, and we look at this, and we look at that, and we see that this goes this way. The point is up here, like this. But that doesn't make any difference because it could very well be like that, see? So we say that is a triangle. And so we finished it. Finally, we proved the problem. I mean, we've solved it. We didn't prove it. We solved the problem about whether the tent was shaped like a triangle or a rectangle. And I will never have to get soaking wet again arguing with Eggy about that. So I will see you tomorrow. And, uh, and well, we'll see if the tent works. I wish Aggie was in here so I could shake his hand and say he was correct.